What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213 where I do shoe reviews. Um, today's pickup I picked up with my earlier pair I did a review on. Um, this specific pair of shoes I'm very excited about. I kind of like these the more I look at them. More so than the triple black reflective NMDs that I did a video on earlier. I kind of, I'm kind of starting to like these so... Um, better or more so than the other shoes so today i'm doing a review on the adidas and nikki runner um core black colorway this colorway did not come out on the adidas website this morning online i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys were expecting these only to drop internationally but for some reason my uh um local foot locker at this mall was one of the lucky ones and one of very few to get one one pair of these so i was able to cop these um, so yeah, this did retail for $120, um, after tax it was like $130 or $128, something like that. These are up for grabs, nine and a half. um, but before I get started guys, hit that like button down below, hit subscribe if you're a new viewer, also comment down below, share my videos please, um, so I appreciate the great, uh, support so that I can keep making these videos, um. There's a receipt from Foot Locker. Here's that paper, traditional Adidas paper. Um, here they are, guys. The triple black, I mean, not triple black, core black and Nike. I think I'm saying that right. And Nike uh, runners or runner Nike, whatever you want to say. People say a variety of different ways. But um, really love these shoes, guys. Um, this away real quick so I can show you guys the shoes a lot better uh, let me show you guys a 360 of these shoes just like I do in every video sorry guys for the poor lighting um, and if the camera is a little bit shaky it's because I'm filming on my own so uh, yeah guys new camera on the way still in the work so so here it is guys the Adidas um, Iniki runner core black color variation um, let's give you guys a 360 of the shoe. Pretty sure you guys are really digging these. If you guys are on the fence about buying these, try them on at the store, guys, honestly. Um, that's a really good recommendation that I give you guys. You know, I'm not going to promote a product that you guys don't want to try on or just don't think it's, you know, very appealing to the eye. Because I can see how some people don't like these. But uh, to each of their own, you know. I respect everyone. Um, everyone's opinion. Um, these did. They did have the different colorways of these. They had one more colorway that was a, like a whitish goldish color. Um, which I did not get because I know I would get those really dirty really fast. So, yeah, guys. These are very light shoes. I want to say these are the lightest uh, Adidas shoes with boost that I have personally owned. And I've owned NMDs, Yeezys, RX1s, um, Ultra Boost, Peer Boost. These are by far the lightest ones you guys can get. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, had a cough. Anyways, so right off the bat, one thing that you guys would notice is... This shoe is hit with a few hints of a suede material. It isn't the high class suede that you get with, you know, some of the Jordans. But it is hit with some nice suede right here. Also here by the shoelace box. Um, back here on the heel. All the way around the shoe. All the way around, guys. Um, and it's all in black. You got the flat shoelaces here. You got the Adidas logo um, in the gray right there, guys. Um, and also the mid, uh, the mid part or the upper of the shoe is all in this um, neoprene material. This neoprene material is a little bit thinner than the prime knit material, but it isn't as flexible and elastic as the prime knit material. So there are its pluses and minuses about this material, but this the material is honestly what really made me cop these shoes. Um, and it goes all around here. You got the three stripes and black. 
Um, you also, they also kind of changed it up a little bit. They have mesh material on the inside, so they do have this kind of mesh material to help with that. The tongue is interconnected with the shoe at the very bottom. I can't really show it that well, but you see guys, it's like connected right here and on the bottom. So that's why if you do have a shoe to size, I would like you guys to go down half a size or I would recommend personally to go down half a size, but it's all depending on how you like your comfort, uh, your comfortability and how you wear your shoes. These fit a little bit more snug around the shoe uh, toe box area right here. And then on the other shoe would be around right here. They fit a little bit snug, but I really like that because when I'm walking, I don't want my shoes really tight around my area, but I can understand the standard comfortability and the standard wear when you go true to size. People like it to, to be tight around the toe box area. Not so tight, but just enough to, you know, keep everything all together and your shoes not just moving around inside. But these are pretty good if you go true to size. I would recommend go down half a size um, if you want that you know true to size like fit like on standard shoes um and yeah you got the Iniki print right here in that it's like a copper yeah it's in like a copper old or you know what's not in a copper it's like in a rose gold um color there it is guys it just doesn't look rose gold because the light is hitting it directly um you got that boost on the bottom that boost is really nice I want to say there's almost the same amount of boost on this shoe than it is on the Ultra Boost. Um, and then on the inside you got the Adidas stamp. Let me show you guys. Give me a second. There it is. Adidas stamp. The brand with three stripes. And then it has the same saying on different languages. It got that knitting material on the inside right there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it guys. It got the size right there. Made in Vietnam. Um... Oh, back here, guys. It has the Adidas logo and Adidas and gray. And then it has this nice, nice, um, almost plush quality material uh, leather. Very nice. That's a nice little touch that I like that Adidas is doing. They're paying attention to the details. They are listening to their consumers. Um, and I really like that about Adidas. So big shout out to Adidas for that. I really like that. Um, there, that's pretty much it guys. There isn't anything really much else to add. Just the three stripes on both sides. That Neo Prime in the upper and then that hints of suede. Um, this shoe is also, um, I would say is very similar in comfortability when you're walking and when you're pretty much just standing still for a while. Um, as if you were wearing the adidas eqt um what is it the 90 the 90 the 116 95 whatever they're called i can't remember the ones with the booze guys the ones that always sell out online um they compare to that and a mixture of the ultra boost they are very comfortable guys i'm telling you guys um give it a shot if you see these on the store if you get lucky enough and they don't sell out, give it a shot. Try them on. You might be surprised. And they look pretty nice once you have them on. Um, again, I was only going to buy one pair, which was this pair when I saw it. But then, you know, sorry, not this pair. The other pair, the triple uh, black reflective NMDs that I did a review on earlier. But then I saw these and I could not pass them up. I was like, nope, not going to pass it up. I'm going to give these a shot and can't be disappointed. Um... On the bottom, guys, you do have the Adidas right here. You got three stripes. And then you have, like, these octagon-like patterns. And in between is the boost. Um, you have the three stripes there. You got nothing up there. Um, and, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Very comfortable shoe, like I said. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I personally like these black shoelaces. If they were white, they would have looked too basic, too plainish. I like that they did the black. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Let me know what you guys think um, Would you guys cop or not? If you have any questions, let me know if you're interested. Let me know. I am selling these for 180 um, Plus shipping um, Let me know if you guys want them. I am willing to negotiate on price Just let me know. Don't be shy to ask. Worst thing I can say is no So uh, let me know if you guys are interested. Comment down below. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe. Share 
um, and stay tuned for more videos. Also, hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so that you can uh, stay posted on my recent uh, video releases and my recent content that I put out. So, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. God bless and see ya.